afternoon everyone so last year I grew my own loofers um, not amazingly successfully but uh, I grew some this year uh, I hadn't bothered uh, ordering any seed of them because quite frankly I thought that I had enough plants already and indeed you know we're into June and that's what I've got well that plus a load more stuff over there anyway um, I got uh, given one of these which is uh, the loofah as you can see that's their labelling grow your own loofah uh, from local garden centre so um, yeah thought it'd be rude not to try growing it so you can see they've they've come already started in a what is a 13 centimeter or one liter pot and I'm going to be using some multi-purpose with Jack's uh, with John Innes added to it and planting straight into that which as you can see is a nine liter pot so it's going to be a massive difference so um, yeah that's what I'm doing first thing is to try and get this cage off the pot and then get it potted and uh, yeah then think about caning okay so you can see that it's fairly decent uh, it has got some buds already so uh, you've got female male buds um, and there should be it looks like there's some development up here already I mean the only thing is obvious is that having just been given this by the local garden centre it's come in with some aphid on it already so I think what I have to do is uh, you know there's some more what I have to do is get it planted and then give it a treatment to you know, to get rid of the aphids but um, yeah let's get it planted first so all I'm doing, I've set uh, set the pot into position. I've stuck a cane that can sit just behind the root ball, as uh, because it's not been caned prior to this. I don't want to suddenly put the cane in and destroy what uh, the root zone there already is. And then I'll just carefully work my way around to fill around the the pot or the what was the pot of roots and same as normal just work your way around and firm as you go right so it's all planted up you can see that uh, as we've always we got finishing layer of compost is just is below that of the pot itself uh, gone fractionally higher up not a lot but uh, just to aid with some rooting and then all that's left now is to tie this up the cane so that's what I shall do now right that's all uh, tied in now so you see it's a decent height uh, probably just under three foot I imagine so what's left now is give it a good watering and then essentially make sure it doesn't dry out so uh, yeah, this will be added to the list of things to water every day and feed essentially every week. So watch this space and see what happens. So thanks for watching the video. If you've uh, got any questions, please uh, feel free to send them over to me and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Keep subscribing to the channel, it's great to see you all. Uh, don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on what I'm doing and uh, yeah as always get out there have some fun in the garden and uh, till next time see you soon bye for now